Hello everyone. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how we use the Azure for Information Protection for our data classification. Because most of the companies they are struggling with the data classification. So what is data classification? Because most of the companies, based on their rules and regulations, based on the country regulations, they have to label their documents, whether it's confidential data is there, whether it's personal data, whether it's financial data, so and so forth. So, so in this case, what are the solutions where Microsoft can offer? So that's where using the Azure Information Protection, we can classify the data. Okay, then there will be another question from the customer itself. They will ask, here we have thousands of applications, uh, sorry, thousands of documents. So is there a way where you can automate the uh, data classification? So basically applying the label uh, based on the automate method. Yes, of course we do have. In our Azure Information Protection data classification solution, we have automated method as well as where user can do it by manual. So both options are there. So in this demo, I'm going to show you how I'm going to apply the data classification policies to my company. So let's begin with portal.azure.com. So I'm going to log in into my Azure portal. So there you can see I have pinned the Azure Information Protection over here. And if you are a new user, what you have to do is simply go to more services and type Azure Information Protection. Then you will find come up with this finding. Then just open it and do the modification. But before this, I need, I'm going to do some more thing. Basically, I'm going to do the data classification as well as I need to protect my documents which I have because whatever the documents you have, you need to share it with outsiders, you, with your uh, other competitors, might be with your business partners or might be with different parties. So how do you make sure you have the document uh, authorization, you have the rights where okay I need to give this document to company X but I need to make sure all the users or whatever the users are sharing this have only view option not edit not print nothing also how you how you make sure that you have the control of the documents at any given time even whatever the permissions you have given you can revoke so is there a way yes that's where the rights management comes into the picture. So I'm going to select rights management and I'm going to see whether my rights management is enabled in my tenant or not. So if you are a new user which you which you are not using rights management so first thing you need to do is you go to the portal and look for this rights management. So it will di directly link to the active directory in your Azure and there you will see four main pillars directory access control namespace, multi-factor auth, auth providers and rights management. So under rights management, you can see my rights management status is inactive. Still I didn't activate it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the uh, tenant name and I'm going to activate my rights management. So it's asking yes or no. So of course it's yes. So it's enabling. All right. So let's see. Okay. Now it's done. So once you enable, you can see now it's activated. So when you open the rights management under templates, there will be two default templates, right? So in addition, if you need to have custom templates, you can create custom templates over here using adding. Then there will be custom templates as well. So I'm, I'm not going to do any custom templates over here, but I'm going to show you, okay, how I'm going to do the classification plus I'm going to apply one of these templates for my data protection. So this is done. So I'm going to close this and I'm going back to the new portal, Azure portal. So there I'm going to select the Azure information protection. So here's the place where I'm going to create my policies and everything, right? So now by default, you can see there's a one policy, but if you're a new user, which you never touch this area, so there won't be any policy. So what you have to do is you have to add a new policy. Why you are seeing this policy is because I have created a, a policy one week back. So, okay, let's forget my policy. So I'm going to create a new policy. I'm going to select add new policy and I'm going to give a policy name. Policy one for, for company X, right? 
then I will I'm going to type a description as well test and whatever the policy you are creating you have to apply to users so not only for users even you can apply to the users or else for the group so you have both options so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this and it will say okay users or groups okay I need users so I'm going to select two users for this policy so I'm going to apply okay Hasita as well as Lyra. So I have selected two users and I'm going to say select. Okay, done. Then you can see over here under policies, the users are visible. Hasita and Lyra. Okay, now I have done the user adding as well. So next is the labeling. So by default with the Microsoft information protection, you can see five default labels are there. Personal, public, internal, confidential and secret. In addition to this, based on a company requirement, you can customize or you can create custom labels the way you want with whatever the conditions you need to have inside it. And also keep in mind, in addition to the main labels, you can have a sub labels as well. So if for example, under secret, you can see there are two sub labels, all company, my group. So individually, you can assign different, different conditions to different, different labels. But in this demo, I'm not going to do any sub labeling. I'm going to do a main labeling. So let me add a label. Okay. So I'm going to type credit card. Let's say uh, finance. Right. Finance. I will say credit card details. Okay. So I'm going to use the color as pink. Right. So because you can see here there are a couple of colors so I, I'm going to use a different color for this pink because here I'm not going to use pink so in addition to that so if you can remember just before few minutes ago I have enabled rights management as well to protect the data so yes in addition to the classification I need to protect these documents as well so whatever the uh, documents I have I need to protect as well so I'm going to say okay protect so if it's protects using what okay Azure RMS because I'm going to use Azure RMS so when I select Azure RMS, I have the Azure RMS. So there I have templates. So if you draw, select this drop down option, you can you are seeing only two because right now I have only two because I didn't create any custom templates. So if you create custom templates, it will be listed down over here. So I'm going to say in this, okay, I need only V only and I'm going to okay, say, okay, apply. So you can see under protection, now it's confirmed V. So whatever the documents I'm applying these policies will have V only permission, all right? So I have mentioned that as well. Then you can do the visualization for your documents. So like adding footer, header, water marks, so and so forth. So I'm going to do all these. So I'm going to add a header, credit card. You can select the font size as well. I'm going to select the color for the font red. Then I'm going to make it on center. Then footer, I will say let's say uh, whatever bank X right then font size again color so I'm going to use different color orange then I'm going to leave it as center right then you can have a watermark as well so I'm going to enable a watermark also I'm going to say okay my company name is X um, I need to have the watermark as company X so then I will select auto because in custom you can change the font size only for the watermark but I'm going to leave it as it is with the default font size and I will make it as the silver color so I have done the visualization then for the watermark you can uh, select the layout horizontal or diagonal so I'm, I'm going to leave diagonal as it is okay now I have done more almost all the visualization so next is the condition okay now what what is the condition I'm going to apply for this policy whether I'm going to track credit card number zip code number or oh, uh, I need to have a custom whatever so here since I'm going to plan for credit card numbers I'm going to add the condition so when you click the add new conditions you can see there are two options built-in and custom so under built-in in the drop down list you have credit card number, SIF code, US social number, SSN, international banking account number, ABA routing number. So these are the default templates available for these conditions. But if you have a custom, if you need a custom one, you have you can select the custom and you can type whatever the uh, 
condition name and you can uh, type the, uh, the exact phrase you want to track down and you can set the condition so I'm not going to do anything custom I'm going to do a credit card okay so I have mentioned credit card so that that template will apply for me then I need to make sure in the document if it occurs only once if the credit card number is there for the very first time okay label it so I'm going to add that condition right then I'm going to save it okay now under the labeling you can see credit card number condition is there and also if you have noticed there is a new option here after you add the condition it says select how this label is applied automatically or recommended to users because when you are setting up as automatic method you have two options one is system will recommend saying that okay this is we are recommending to put apply to this label so user needs to apply it you can can change it okay i agree okay let's do that or else system can automatically decide it and it will automatically apply the label so here i'm going to do a full automate method which is automatic and i uh, after that i'm going to give a description to the users so in addition to that you can add uh, administrative uh, notes uh, for housekeeping so i have done almost most of the things for the labeling part so i'm going to save it okay i click save okay it's saved so under the main policy policy one for company x now you can see finance label is there right so after that few more changes you can do few more settings for your policy you can see okay whatever the documents i have whatever the documents i'm creating it must have a label by default so you can enable that option as well so i'm going to enable that as well so once you enable you can say okay under which category it, it needs to be by default whether it's internal or conventional or whatever so i'm going to say okay leave it as confidential because it's my company so i set it as all the documents must be confidential okay then in case if the user is uh, changing the label from higher level to low level or if they are removing the label or remove protection the user must give a justification so i'm going to on that feature as well so i have done most of things now i'm going to save it okay now i click the save button so after you save everything you can see under the policies there is a new policy available but yet you didn't publish it to the users so you have to publish it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to publish the new changes of my data again policies okay now i have done that so once you done the uh, publish it you just verify whether everything is okay back with your policy okay finance it's there so i'm going to open my label check whether okay whether i have all the things whatever the things I have mentioned credit card number condition is there everything is there okay so whatever settings I have mentioned, okay done now next what I'm going to do is I'm going to see whether this is applied for my documents or not okay so I'm going to minimize this open a document okay new one word 2016 so I'm going to open new one okay now you can see by default my labeling is confidential because I mentioned it needs to be confidential right so I'm going to uh, delete the label right and I'm going to close it okay I'm going to say save can I save it no because over here I mentioned I need to give a justification in case if I'm removing or if I'm doing anything so without applying a label i can't do i can't save this document at all because whatever the modify i'm doing i can't do because i need to have labeling so okay let's leave it okay i need to have container then only yes test one two three four uh, then only it's allowing me to change okay let's okay let's delete those to open a new document again right and okay blank document so you can see it's confidential so I'm going to paste my credit card number into it and I'm going to save it right so I'm going to save it into my desktop and I'm going to type okay whatever the name right and I'm going to save it okay what has happened right let's okay what has happened now you can see 
it automatically applied this file was automatically labeled as finance because I have mentioned in case if the credit card numbers are there you need to label it automatically so this is my uh, head uh, footer water mark my credit card number credit card so I know okay this is finance uh, classified document because it has whatever the conditions you have mentioned so here the example is credit card number so this is the way how it classified let me close it okay let's do it one more time okay it's confidential I'm going to say okay and I'm going to save it this place desktop I will say test right I'm going to save it you can see what has happened it automatically applied my policy confusion view only right and the labeling as well so this is the way how the system automates it for you in case if you say recommend it will here will say okay we are recommending to add this document to this label so you have the option called change but here I said no fully automate I need here so it has automatically classified it as finance because if you can remember whenever you are opening any new document it comes with confidential because I mentioned all the documents must be have a confidential thing in case if I'm adding any credit card number and if I'm going to save it right documents right so it's automatically applying my rights management as well as labeling classif classification to my documents so this is the way how it works so using my demo you just try out this Azure information protection and see how it can help you so in addition to this in my next session next video I will show you how you need to do the rights management as well to protect your document further basically why I said further is like how you do the revoking how you apply the templates how you make sure that it's not in the wrong hand Geogra geographically how you identify whether from which places they are opening these documents right so everything I will show in the next video but for today just see how Azure Information Protection helps you to classify your data thank you very much